Hey everyone, how's it going? It is sharing with Sojo Chalks. We are an independent designer for Chalk Couture and we're so glad to have you. We're going to do a really quick, fun, kind of sarcastic project for Halloween. And we're going to do it on our Bistro Spinner. And the reason why this design is perfect for this board is we can change what people see on it. Okay, so um, the transfer that we're using today is the Witch is In. And um, this is actually a B-Size transfer, but if you notice that we're going to cut it right down the middle, put one verse or one phrase on each side of the Bistro Spinner. And then I thought we'd use some of um, our new colors as well as some of our my favorite um, colors from last year. So this is um, our shimmer frost so it's white with just a little bit of glimmer in it so we're going to use that for the words and then for the cauldron this is our new shimmer plum and if you're from minnesota that should remind you of your football team right and then for the broom we're just going to hit it real quick with our shimmer harvest okay so if you haven't seen our bistro spinner before um, this actually this little finial comes unscrewed at the top and then you can remove the board so it makes it way easier to chalk on there's no reason to wax the surface so we're just going to go ahead and cut this transfer right down the cut line and the only other tools that i have you guys um Got a few squeegees for the pastes, and I'm gonna pull out the quick dry tool because I want to chalk one side, dry it, and then flip it over to chalk the other side, and that'll just make sure that we don't smear it. Okay, and if you don't have the quick dry tool, any um, hair dryer, just not a heat gun because a heat gun will melt the surface. Okay, so um, oh, also a handy dandy fluffing cloth. So I'm gonna fuzz this real quick. Peel this reusable silk screen right off the backer. Make sure you save the backer because the silk screen is reusable. And give it a couple quick fuzzes, and this just tones down the adhesive. And you'll need to do this the first few times you use it. So our transfers are reusable 10 to 12 times. And set that aside for now. And actually, on the back of the transfer, on the non-shiny side, um, I am just going to write down the name of the transfer because I have a lot of crafting going on today. So I want to make sure that I can find that to put this back on. Okay, so back to this. So we're going to fuzz it. We're going to line it up and put it on one side of the bistro board. It just fits perfectly. This. Um, transfer was just made perfectly for it okay and just so i'm just kind of eyeballing it but lining it up side to side and top to bottom and there we go so if you are watching us on our youtube channel We'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notifications next time we post a project or go live on YouTube. And if you're watching within our VIP group, hello, hello. How are my VIPs doing? Okay, so just make sure it's down without any bubbles or wrinkles. Um, we are using two colors, but it's gonna be a real quick one. So I'm gonna start off with the shimmer frost and we're just going to oh i forgot how much i love this shimmer frost really comes in handy for the holiday transfers and i haven't used it since oh it's great for snowflakes haven't used it since last um winter probably so i'm just going to get in there get this word I'm going to use, leave the cauldron and the little bubbles for that shimmer plum. Scrape off the excess, and that just goes right back into the jar. And 
and just make sure that silk screen. Now I have noticed with the shimmers, sometimes you need to really push them through with the squeegee because of those little sparkles, just to make sure you get good coverage. Okay. And then this cauldron, we're going to use that new shimmer plum. That is, I don't know if you can see that. That is gorgeous. I think it's great for the Halloween transfers, but I think it's just great for fall in general. We haven't had a purple in the lineup in probably over a year. So it's nice to have that. And I'm just using the mini squeegee um, just to get in there. And again, our shimmers just really scrape them through the screen. And all that excess is just going back in the jar. Okay. So then while it's still wet, find a corner here and pull this back. Love it. Okay, so the transfer, I'm gonna set it aside for now and just rinse it off with water and use our board eraser to clean it. You don't need to use any soaps or any detergents on it. And then you'll let it dry sticky side up. Okay guys, here comes the, gotta watch the paint dry. Give me just 30 seconds, make sure this is dry before I flip it over. And this is our quick dry tool. It has a little bit of heat. It's not hot like an embossing gun because you don't want to melt that surface. And I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to give it a real quick dry because I want to flip it over and chop the other side. Okay, so I guess I started with the side that you would spin to if you're not having a very good day. I don't know. I just like the sassiness of this transfer. And again, we used our Shimmer Frost and our new Shimmer Plum for that purple. Love it. And this Bistro board is reusable. So when the holiday is over, you're just gonna wipe it off with water and start over again. Okay, let's do the other side. And the other part of the transfer, the witch is out. And again, I'm gonna write on the back. Just so after I clean them, I can match everything back up. Okay, there we go, and save that backer. And then just give it a couple fuzzes, kind of tone down the adhesive. And if you have our fuzzing cloth, you're going to want to use the terry cloth side of the fuzzing cloth to fuzz on. And then you use the smoother microfiber side to um, dry your boards off. Works really well for that. Okay, so a couple quick fuzzes and we'll line this up and get busy chalking on it. Okay, there we go. And again, when I um, put the, the silk screen down, the transfer down, I like to go from the center and out to smooth it out just to make sure it's down without any bubbles or wrinkles and we'll go back we'll use the shimmer frost again for the words and 
and just really scrape that through the silk screen. Grab a little bit more. And again, if you're watching on YouTube, our YouTube channel, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And that way you'll know when we post our next project. Okay, so that's covered. A real thin coat, you wanna be able to see through it see through the paste and we are going to move on to this shimmer harvest and just hit that broom and some of these embellishments with it You want to work fairly quickly because remember the words that we just did in the shimmer frost, they're drying and you don't want the paste to dry on top of the screen. Okay, we've got everything covered. It's my favorite part even after four years of chalking. Peel that back. Oh, love it. Okay, and again, I'm going to just set this aside for now and give it a quick dry and then we'll reassemble the bistro board. So let me know in the comments if you decorate for Halloween. And I think this is just one of the big pluses for Chalk the Tour. Is if you do decorate for Halloween and come November 1st, you could easily just wipe this off. It's on a reusable surface. And then get ready for the next holiday. Okay, I just want to get it dry enough so I can reassemble this board. And again, this Bistro Spinner just has this little finial screw, screw on top. Just line everything back up and tighten it down. And there's another quick and easy fun project. For you to decorate your home with. So I hope you enjoyed this and be sure to like and follow us, subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back with another project. We'll see you soon.